Hello. My name is Rory McKiernan, and last summer I hitchhiked around Ireland in what I called my Hitching for Hope listening tour. At the time, I was starting to feel disillusioned with Ireland, with the abuses of power and the lack of leadership and real vision. I decided to abandon what I thought I knew and to go looking for answers, looking for answers amongst the people of Ireland. It was a kind of personal pilgrimage, a quest to find hope in a country that I sometimes find difficult to love. And so I hit the road, and with no money and no clue of what would happen each day, or what people I'd meet, where I'd end up, or where I might stay each night, I hit the road to discover the real Ireland, and what came next was the adventure of a lifetime. I travelled north and south, east and west. I interviewed hundreds of people. I encountered a warmth and a generosity, a kindness and a community spirit that I'd somehow started to forget about. I was offered lifts, meals, places to stay, and what felt like thousands and thousands of cups of tea. <laughs> People seemed to really open up to me. I heard stories of real, real hardship, about people losing their jobs, of heartbroken families devastated by suicide. I saw real, real suffering in a land where tens of thousands of young people continue to leave and where many of our elders live in fear. But from within the anger and within the pain, I also discovered a different Ireland, an Ireland that refuses to give up, an Ireland that holds on to a different dream for how things can be. I saw it in the eyes of the young farmer in Connemara who is suffering from depression but refuses to give up for the sake of his young daughter. I saw it in the North Mayo community that refuses to bow to corporate and state bullying. I sensed it from the Limerick man who is setting up a new food and energy co-op movement. And I found it in the Wexford mother who is campaigning for her autistic son's right to an equal education. I felt it in the great city of Derry where people are healing the wounds of conflict through the power of love and forgiveness. I think something really special is happening in Ireland right now. Look at what has been revealed about corruption, about abuse. After centuries of repression, I think there's an awakening. I think people are starting to find the courage to say enough is enough and it is time for us to become our own leaders. There's a deep hunger for freedom in Ireland, a freedom to be, to be all that we can be. The spirit of the people that I met around the country gave me a new hope for this great country. They helped me fall in love with the island again, with our beautiful island, and they helped me to realise that hope comes from within, that it comes from our hearts, that it comes from each other, and that we should never, ever, ever give up. <laughs>